morning, Bacon Academy. Today's January 31st. I'm Jenna Cretoli. And I'm Emily Gagnon, and this is the Bacon Academy Student News. Drama Club is looking for people interested in participating in the two plays being performed this year. Auditions will be held on Wednesday, February 5th, and Thursday, February 6th, in room 3130. Experts from the plays will be provided. There are many roles to choose from, big and small, so come one, come all. The Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery will be given at Bacon Academy on Friday, February 7th at 7.30 a.m. The ASVAB is one of the most widely used multiple aptitude tests in the world, developed and maintained by the Department of Defense, open to students in grade 10, 11, and 12. Diversity Club will meet on the following dates, January 14th, February 4th, February 18th, and March 4th at 2.30 in room 1119, which is the foods room. New members are always welcome. Officers, please see Miss Murphy as soon as possible. Field trip permission slips are due by Wednesday, January 15th. Please see Miss Murphy if you do not have one. Now for some state news. An employee of Brookdale Place of, Har of West Hartford has filed a discrimination complaint against the company for refusing to provide health insurance to her wife because they are a same-sex couple. I was told on the phone that Brookdale did not offer health insurance covering the same-sex spouses, even though I'm otherwise qualified to receive those benefits, wrote Carrie Conside. Police are trying to identify three men suspected of robbing the Fairfield County Credit Union Black Rock Turnpike on Monday. The robbers arrived around 2.06 p.m. in a vehicle that, has been, that had been stolen on Trumbull Avenue in Bridgeport. The suspects fled with an undetermined amount of money, heading south on Black Rock Turnpike towards I-95. A New Britain police officer was seriously injured on a hit and run on Wilcox Street Sunday night. Shortly after 8 p.m., police responded to the report of a stolen car about half an hour later. An officer had located the car in a yard at 56 Wilcox Street and approached the vehicle. As the officer moved toward the car, he was struck, run over, and dragged down a driveway and into the street. Since Monday afternoon, the officer has undergone nine hours of surgery for his injuries and has 